Breaking news for you. Chinese President Xi Jinping turns into a full-time police officer. No, no, he is not trying to catch a thief. He is not into catching criminals. He has an unorthodox target. Rich people. Yes, Jinping wants to catch rich people. China's rich are taking all their cash and stashing it into safe havens abroad. But Xi Jinping wants their cash. And so, he's turning into a police officer. He's going after the rich to somehow stop them from sending their cash abroad and lay his hands upon their money. Stay tuned to know how. Hi and welcome. You're watching TFI Global, the foreign affairs and geopolitical analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I'm Siddharth, your host. In this video, I will tell you how Jinping has hit the panic button as Chinese investors move their money out of China. Let's begin. The Chinese economy is in a bad state. There is absolutely nothing going right for the Chinese economy. The real estate sector that used to pump China's GDP numbers has been hit by the Evergrande crisis and debt defaults by other property companies. Meanwhile, things are getting worse with the severe power crisis and President Xi Jinping turning into a radical Maoist leader. Meanwhile, Chinese investors are not investing in China any longer. They are parking their cash elsewhere. They are looking to invest in Japanese and Singaporean real estate markets. Some are even going as far as Portugal for property investments. However, Xi Jinping wants their money. With China in a desperate situation, he wants their cash and wants to ultimately nationalize private wealth. So, Xi Jinping and rich Chinese citizens end up playing the police and thief game. As per Reuters, Chinese officials are planning a new crackdown, offering offshore trading services to mainland China clients by online brokerages like Futu Holdings Limited and Up Fintech Holding Limited. The prospective ban would end up restricting millions of retail investors in mainland China from trading securities easily in foreign markets such as the USA and Hong Kong. This is a part of Xi Jinping's strategy to keep the rich from parking their cash abroad. Chinese authorities had also raised concern about cross-border brokerages in October, signaling how Xi Jinping had a problem with such offshore trading. And to push through with this plan, Beijing is taking the excuse of data security. State-owned People's Daily warned that vast amounts of data collected by the brokerages were at risk if American authorities required such data. You know, since the Chinese government diligently guards the data of its citizens and does not peek into their personal life, it is concerned about data security. The Chinese authorities are also said to be worried about capital outflows due to offshore trading by online brokerages and this is the main issue. Within China, the rich don't have a patriotic mindset or a nationalistic sentiment. They do lobby for the Chinese Communist Party so that they can win favor with the Chinese government, but it is their money that they care about. If the state needs their money for any practical purposes, the rich Chinese citizens simply drag their feet. Now this is the reason why the number of Chinese individuals moving abroad to keep their financial assets secure has grown steadily in recent years. What people in China fear is the growing likelihood of an action-packed campaign by Xi Jinping against the communist nation's private enterprises and businesses. They fear that the CCP will suddenly seize their assets and leave them impoverished. Over the past year, such sentiments have only got aggravated due to Xi Jinping's wide-ranging crackdown on the tech sector, edtech companies, fintech real estate, and other private businesses. An average Chinese businessman does aspire to keep his money and family safe in overseas destinations. For Xi Jinping, harking China back to the Maoist era has become a priority. What he's currently doing is the first stage of the process of turning China into a radical communist state. Step by step, he's eliminating all Chinese businesses at great cost to the Chinese economy and the living standards of an average Chinese citizen. In the next stage of his radical communist policies, Xi Jinping will not only destroy the Chinese economy, but he will also start nationalizing private resources. As such, Xi Jinping is in dire need of rich people's money. To create a big communist state, Xi Jinping needs a lot of money. He simply cannot let private Chinese money flow out to overseas destinations. This is why he has hit the panic button and is finding new ways to bar Chinese investors from investing abroad. 